Fighting the opioid epidemic by combining a high school education with a substance abuse recovery program. It's an important option to help students overcome addiction. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more on a New Jersey program in tonight's Einstein Healthcare Science Center report. Steph? This is an interesting one, guys. You know, as one of the first of its kind in the United States, this unique program is designed for teenagers battling drug and alcohol addiction. For many, the only way out is to break away from the temptations and peer pressure. Scientific studies have shown up to 85% of students with addiction problems relapse after treatment when they return to their former high schools. But Lisa, who started using drugs when she was 14, found help with a special kind of high school program. My life was really out of control and, you know, I thought about it and I was like, you know, there's no way that, like, I can live the rest of my life like this. Like, I can't do this anymore. She was eventually able to complete her senior year in this recovery high school in North Jersey. Some of the support groups will happen here. It's part classroom, part recovery program where students commit to being drug and alcohol free away from the temptations of their past. When you look at our kids, when they go into treatment, they go right back into the same district or school. They're surrounded by all their same friends. That's generally where, unfortunately, where they're meeting their drug dealers and drug using friends. Recovery schools have been around since the 1980s, but in the past four years, the number has grown rapidly to 41 across the country. I don't care if it's one kid, that we've literally changed the course of her life and the ripple effect that she's going to have on other people. A recent government study finds nearly 9% of teenagers in the United States are abusing illegal drugs. Lisa says she's been clean for more than two years. Her new life is a college sophomore at Rutgers University, where she lives in an alcohol-free dorm, planning for a career in finance. Now, the Association of Recovery Schools says there is a lot of interest in opening more sober high schools, but cost is a challenge. About $6,000 more per student a year than traditional high school. And funding is different for mm -hmm. each school, but it's usually a combination of public and private funding. Mm -hmm. But a lot of interest in more schools. Oh, it sure. makes a lot of sense because you're saying they don't fall behind in school, but they right. can also get the treatment exactly. they need. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Thanks, Steph. Thanks.